Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize Kansas farmers for their long hours during this year's wheat harvest and for their work to produce food for people all over the world. With more than 15,000 farms across the state and 5 million acres of wheat in the big first district alone, Kansas leads the nation in wheat production, is the largest export of hard red winter wheat, and is aptly named the breadbasket of the world. The United States exports that wheat to more than 100 countries around the world, and some of that wheat from Kansas ends up abroad under the U.S. Food Assistance programs like Food for Peace. In fact, it was the Kansas Farm Bureau who began sending surplus grain to those in need around the world, continuing U.S. leadership in addressing world hunger. As I reflect on my own time on our family farm in Quinter, Kansas, I'm reminded that harvest season is about more than just harvesting the crop. For Kansas farm families and communities, harvest is about coming together. Harvest is when we share tractors and other equipment with our neighbor and when theirs gets stuck. Harvest is when a grandmother takes food to the field so the rest of her family doesn't have to leave the field for a lunch break. And it's when a father takes his child out on the combine to show him how the work is done. And it's when we reflect on our advancements in agriculture thanks to land-grant universities like the wheat breeding research at Kansas State University, yielding high quality and plentiful harvest around the world. Wheat harvest is a time for Kansas to be proud of the great strides they take to feed, fuel, and clothe the world. At the end of the season, we look back and know that each agriculture success is inexpensively tied to our Kansas values of faith, family, community, and grit. While we are at work here in Washington, they are back at home making the world go round. And for that, we owe farmers our sincerest thank you.